Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Skyline Academy. Today we are going to check the configuration of custom code management that how the custom code is set up within SAP Solution Manager 7.2 to get the expected result of the custom codes that which are created in the system. So let's start today this video and if you like this video please share it with your friends subscribe my channel and please uh, comment in the comment box to improve the uh, quality of the videos as well as if, if you want to have some specific topics to be discussed or to be uh, created a video on the topic so let's start for today uh, yeah so this is uh, our screen which everyone is aware about that this is solvent setup screen which is showing so showing here now i am going to custom code management this is option this is configuration page in custom code management if i click i'll get some of the pens right side let's ignore this one now there are two parts of that the first is preparation the manage system prepare managing system these are all uh, ma automatic activities so you do not have to do anything just to have to keep your system client open and execute all so what it will check it will check the required SAP nodes which are already implemented in the new uh, system if not then you have to implement those correction note which is a part of custom code management then it will activate some of the bw content of the different options like sap references cclm sqlm atc and uses login and it will schedule some of the jobs and activate some services and as well as it will check the data consistency as well however it will take some time so once you click on execute all you need to wait for some time it will be done automatically with current status but whether it is yellow red or green fine so next is change the ccm default setting it is optional if you want to use that you can use otherwise leave it as a standard all right so in this page we do not have to do much this is a starting page so we'll go to, go to second step where it seems to be having some template users yes here we are having options to create the template users which is dialog user and different options like cc all forh admin and display so different options are different roles will be assigned to these template roles template users and if you want someone to provide the roles you can copy this user to other user and provide them this will make you work easy to assign individual roles to user but it will be used as a quick basis third is custom code management setting so let's click on the third option this is custom code management so here we are having two system assigned if you want more system to be done you can select the more systems how we'll do that let's click on this one let's click on this one and let's click on this one from here you can select some of the systems which are the part of your uh, custom code management and once you click the system it will see the sid client it admin role which should be activated and what is the status of that below it will give the rfc user that these two rfc should be working sm f uh, sid clnt client number and read and tmw then it will check for some of the SAP nodes to particular system it if something is missing or if it is some notes showing here this is operation status whether it it is done which categories should be active and what extractors 
and collector is active in your system for custom code management this is the technical system which is showing here all options for monitoring what is being used and what is the status of the technical system or details related to the system now this is administration ui for extractor framework so it will open a different page for extractors logs and other parts so here just you have to select here and you have to activate selectors whatever the system you select you have to activate and settings you can go and change the options as well here this is custom code analytics setup if you want data to be stored in bw or analytics to be set up then you have to go by this way and it will give some options to create analytics these are the categories for which you are you will be going to use for in custom code objects references users login similarity quality cclm reporting sqlm version and criticality so this is all together will be shown in custom code management and will be referred as a standard or customized way as per required by your theme so this is all together a tool which is required and this is options this is a standard options and i can say it is very much easy to configure the custom code management just to have to take care while installing the correction notes and nothing other than anything required the second part we will talk in different videos related to upl yani uses procedure logging and scmon which is required for root or without root so we'll discuss discuss in that later part but in this video that's all this is overall configuration of custom code management where you should have uh, in mind that what you are going to monitor right so thank you so much for watching my videos if you like my video please share with your friends like the video comment it and subscribe my channel for uh, new updates as well as to get the new video at first when we update it in youtube thank you so much for watching my videos bye bye